In this video, you're gonna learn what mental training is and how mental training can help you as an athlete. Hey there, I'm Eli Straw, mental performance coach and the founder of successstartwithin.com. Mental training is a way for you as an athlete to really build your mental skills. And the reason that mental training is important is because if you have high level physical skills, you wanna also have high level mental skills to pair with those high level physical skills to really help reach your full potential on the field or on the court. Now, building positive mental skills takes mental training. So, what I wanna do with this video is go over just a few different mental training tools and techniques that you can use, so maybe you can get started with mental training for yourself as an athlete. Tool number one is self-talk. As an athlete, your thoughts and the way that you talk to yourself are so important, because if you're talking to yourself in a way that's driving anxiety, driving fear, making you doubt yourself, then that's gonna lower your performance when you're playing. However, if you can talk to yourself in more of a positive way, an uplifting way, that's gonna increase your confidence, that's gonna make you trust in yourself more, and that's gonna make you perform better. So whenever you're wanting to work with self-talk, what you first need to do is outline all the negative ways you currently speak to yourself. And then what you can do is come up with some positive alternatives and then implement a self-talk routine. Now in the description, I put a link to a self-talk video that goes into a lot more detail on how you can get started with self-talk. The next mental training tool is visualization. Visualization is also known as mental rehearsal because what you're actually doing is you are rehearsing your performance in your mind. You're rehearsing your skills in your mind. You're practicing in your mind. Visualization really helps you as an athlete build confidence. It can also help you perform better under pressure. You can also use visualization if you are feeling really anxious going into a game. I really like visualization because it provides you with a safe place to train. Whenever you're dealing with low confidence as an athlete, it can be very difficult and frustrating to build this confidence if you don't have a string of really good games in a row. And even when you have that string of really good games, sometimes what can happen is you start to fear making a mistake because you know your confidence is going to crumble if you do. But we can use visualization to provide you with a safe space where you know that you're going to be able to, de to decide whether or not you perform well or see yourself perform well. And as you do that, that really boosts your confidence. And so once again, in the description, I put a link to a visualization video I've, I've made that goes through a couple different visualization techniques that you can use as an athlete. Mental training tool number three is mindfulness. Mindfulness for athletes, I like to say, is focus training. Because as an athlete, you need to be focused. If you're during a game or during practice and you're distracted, you're not gonna play your best. So you need to make sure that you have the power to control your attention. Mindfulness helps you gain that power. When you're training mindfulness, you can do this through mindfulness meditation. You can also do this through things known as mindful tasks or not mindful walks or jogs. But the main idea when it comes to training mindfulness is giving yourself an opportunity each day to really pay attention to bringing your awareness into the present moment. And whenever we're working with mindfulness, for the most part, that's gonna be bringing your attention onto your breath. And then whenever you notice your attention drifting, so you start to think about something else, you bring your attention back onto your breath. Now, once again, in the description below, I put a link to a video I made that goes into a lot more detail on how you can practice mindfulness. Mental training tool number four is performance objectives. Performance objectives act as a way to train your mind because they train you to, number one, control your attention, but then the way that you evaluate these performance objectives, it trains you to have a better mindset moving forward. And this really helps when athletes are dealing with high expectations or perfectionism. What performance objectives are, are targets that you will set going into a practice or a game that is gonna be what you focus on. And I have athletes set performance objectives on the physical side and the mental side. The physical side is going to include your mechanics, right? All the things that you need to do physically to put you in a position to perform well. And then you're also gonna do one mentally. And mentally, this is gonna be all about your mindset, what you're thinking about, what you're focusing on, how you're feeling. Now, when you're setting performance objectives, they're gonna be a little different between practices and games, and that practices your performance objectives need to be centered towards helping you improve, while your game performance objectives need to give you the best chance to perform well. So they're like that, that key that you need to allow yourself to perform freely and confidently. And then what you're gonna do after each practice and game is you're gonna go through and you're gonna evaluate your performance. You're gonna say, okay, what did I do well today? Where can I improve? And then the things that you wanna improve upon, that's, where, that's what you can then use for your performance objectives, maybe going into the next practice or the next game. So I put a link in the description below to a video I made on performance objectives that go into a detail step-by-step step, and how you can set these performance objectives for yourself. Now those are four mental training tools that you can use to really start training your mind and building positive mental skills. If you just start with one of them, let's say, 
that's gonna have a huge impact on strengthening your mindset and then increasing your performance. Now, another way that you can start using mental training is by working with a mental performance coach. A mental performance coach is going to really help you identify your strengths and weaknesses, figure out what's going on with your mindset right now, and personally identify what are the specific skills and tools that you need to use and you need to focus on building that are going to have the best impact on your physical performance. If you're interested in learning more about one-on-one -on -one mental performance coaching and seeing how you can get started, I put a link to it in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I put out new videos each day on sports psychology and mental training. If you have any questions about mental training or there's any sports psychology topic that you want me to cover, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I wish you the best of success in all that you do.